Yeah. Good morning, everyone. I'm Alex the Prince, who has no idea what he's doing with his life. And yeah, let's just address the elephant in the room. I'm dropping out of college. This video is going to be a very rambly video. I didn't really have a script planned other than one just kind of in my head a little bit of like how I kind of want the video to go. So uh, this might be a little bit jumbled. So sorry about that. Also sorry, future editing Alex. I know you're gonna hate me. So yeah, I'm dropping out of college. Um, this is the end of year five for me. Um, I don't have a major. I'm wasting so much time and money on classes that I'm miserable taking. I honestly didn't even go to my classes this semester. I was focusing on YouTube and just existing and my mental health. And I just realized that the only reason that I've been here is because of societal pressures and stuff. Like, even in like high school, I didn't even want to be here. I'll be completely honest. I didn't start taking the college search seriously until like, my senior year and it was about towards the end of the first half of my senior year of high school that I was like oh I kind of have an idea of what I want to do I watched x-ray and Bav and I realized that I really want to do animation so I was like screw it I'll look up colleges in the area that have an animation degree and there was only one college of the three that I applied to which I didn't even apply to colleges until halfway through the second half of my senior year of college of high school I didn't want anything to do with this, but there were so many like societal pressures from like family and friends and like my own self and the, the world that like I just felt like it was the only option. So I went even though I didn't want to be there. And um, the path to where I am now has been such a long and like pointless journey. Like, I went, I came originally for animation. I spent one semester as an animation major, didn't even take an animation class for some reason. They didn't put me in an animation class for a semester. I don't know. Um, realized that I hated being an art major. So I switched to music because that was where all my friends were. I switched to being a trumpet major because that was the only instrument I knew how to play. And then I learned how to play piano in a class. So I, I spent a year and a half as a trumpet major. And then there was, a situation that uh, forced me to take a semester off and then come back to the school um, where I switched to being a piano major and then I did a semester and a half of that and I realized that I was still miserable so I was like okay well I'll switch to writing and then I took a couple writing classes and I didn't ever end if I, if, <laughs> I never ended up even like officially changing my major to that even and then I kind of realized like I don't know what I'm doing and that's kind of where I ended up now. Like I still, year five, and I don't know what I'm doing. The only thing that I really care about, the only thing I really have a passion for is YouTube. So I'm dropping out to become a YouTuber. <laughs> it's been something that I spent a lot, a lot, a lot of time thinking about. This is not me suddenly just deciding and telling everyone about this. I have decided this at the start of the semester. I decided that I wasn't going to be coming back after this semester. And I had been planning on making this announcement a lot earlier, but, you know, quarantine happened and things just got all crazy. And I suddenly realized that I was not ready to tell people yet. So here we are, because um, I'm aiming that the day that this gets released will be the first day of finals week for the semester at my college. But yeah, I just, I realized that I was wasting so much time and money and I was completely destroying my mental health. Like it was, it, it's, it's, it's been pretty bad. When I focused on my classes, it was awful. I, I ended up stop going, stopping going to classes at like maybe week three of classes here and it was because like I realized just how severe my anxiety got whenever I was focusing on my classes. So that's that's honestly the main reason why I'm dropping out is because of my mental health, but also because it's not what I want to do. There's nothing here that's going to help. I mean, there's probably some majors, but nothing that I'm going to be able to put the effort and time into because college is stressful. If you're not thinking or if you're thinking about not going to college, 
take a gap year, at the very least. Don't, don't let the pressures of society force you into making a decision like it did for me. Cause let me tell you, it sucks. Do I regret coming to college? No, no. Uh, I did learn a lot. I have done a lot of growing up since I first came to college. I do not regret it for a minute, especially Find Me Alpha, the main reason why I ended up sticking in college at all. I wanted to become a brother my sophomore year, right after I came out as a trans guy. Um, they expressed that they like actually wanted me, like they wanted me, which was like the first time in my life I've ever felt wanted. So when I took my gap year, or my gap semester, I had been planning on transferring to a different college, like halfway across the country, but I ended up not because Find Me Alpha. They wanted me. That was like the main reason and I felt bad leaving when, you know, they would put effort into like making it known that they wanted me. So I came back. My first semester that I got back, I worked super, 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 super hard to get my grades back up so that I could get the GPA minimum so that I could join the chapter and then went through the process and I got initiated a year ago tomorrow, actually, if things work out and I get this posted on time, which hopefully I do. Hopefully I do. But once I didn't have that, like, grounding point, once I lost, like, I didn't lose anything. I, once I didn't have that, like, reason to get my grades back up, I stopped caring. Like, I didn't stop caring. It's just that, like, it didn't, there was no motivation behind it. Because I knew when I first came back, I knew that the only thing standing between me and people who really truly wanted me and loved me was getting my grades up. And then the next semester I had those people who truly wanted me and loved me. And it was like, well, what do I need to work hard for now? So I just kind of shut down. I also was like a lot of anxiety about like being perfect and like being the best Symphonian ever, which I I've put in a lot. I've given Find Me Off of Symphonia, everything that I have. And it's not a lot. It probably doesn't seem like a lot to some of my brothers, but it was everything. And it is everything to me still. Even though we've had our final chapter, I've said my goodbyes. My time as a collegiate member is over, but I gave it everything that I had. And I will continue to give Find Me Alpha everything that I have. Boys, any and all boys, if you have a chapter at the college that you go to, if you go to college, which you don't have to, do not make it seem, do not think that I'm trying to make it seem like you should go to college because I'm not, I'm not pressuring you at all. But if you do, and there is a chapter of Find Me Off of Symphonia on your campus, I highly, highly, highly recommend that you check them out because I am not kidding when I say that it is the greatest thing that ever happened to me. So give them a, check them out. Do it. Just go. <laughs> so. What comes next? Well, I'm gonna be moving back in with my parents. So this office, this bedroom now, um, where I, this channel has pretty much started, um, it's not gonna be around for much longer. I have to move out by May 15th. So probably at most two or three more videos in this room, which is kind of sad, but there's exciting things on the way because I'm gonna be designing my own bedroom because uh, the house that we live in is like not complete yet. So like the only reason why I haven't moved back in now is because I've they're still working on it. They gotta put in the windows and they gotta um, put up like the, the plaster stuff on the wall so we can paint it. Cause I have many, many wonderful ideas for how I'm gonna paint the room. So that's gonna be fun. Trust me when I say it's gonna be really exciting because I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, I'm gonna be getting a new desk. Uh, so this, you guys can't see it, but this desk right here, this clunky old thing is very um, cluttered, which isn't like just because of my stuff. It's just the desk design. So I'm very excited to not have this. I'm gonna be, hopefully, I'm, I'm aiming to be able to get an actual desktop computer so we won't, there will be so many more videos coming because I will be able to like work without shotcut crashing every 
20 minutes that I'm working and like losing footage all the time. So that's gonna be super exciting. And this isn't necessarily relating to the move, but like, um, I'm gonna be getting a little uh, flash drive that like will connect to both my phone and to my computer. So that means that I'm gonna be freeing up a lot of space on my phone, which means that I will be able to film on my phone, which means no more webcam. You guys can see me from different angles. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Sup. <laughs> and on top of that, moving in with my parents, that means you're gonna get to see my mom more often, which like, you know, if you guys follow my um, Tumblr, you'll have seen my mom. She's a pretty big fander and she's like the coolest mom ever. So I'm sure some of you guys were super excited to see that, see her. Uh, you're gonna see my dad, we'll finally meet him. We're gonna get to see my mom's cat. You guys are finally gonna get to meet Meatloaf, like actually meet him, which is so exciting. And I'm gonna be learning how to drive too, once the DMV opens. So that's however long that's gonna take. And I'm probably gonna stay away from that for a while because you know, I'm grown up. But it's, it's gonna happen eventually. Cause like I'm 22, I don't know how to drive because I have bad anxiety. <laughs> yeah, and it's gonna be really exciting. Cause like, I'm not gonna have to worry about like, food and rent anymore like i'm still obviously gonna help around the house but like i'm not gonna have to waste spend energy like freaking out about that and <laughs> <laughs> that was real <laughs> sorry about that I have, I have i have i've had to set up alarms on my phone to remind me to go to the bathroom every few hours again what was i saying <laughs> yeah so there's gonna be like new opportunities and stuff so i'm really looking forward to it even though like i don't know i'm gonna miss being here a lot, because this is the first apartment that I've had where nothing has gone, like, severely wrong. Which is, like, really cool. I've done a lot of growing in this apartment, and it's gonna be really weird to move out. But, you know, I couldn't be here forever. It's a student-only apartment, so. So, yeah. TLDR. This isn't reading. <laughs> Wrap up. Um, I'm dropping out of college for my mental health, and because it's... A waste of my time personally moving back in with my parents and wonderful things are on the way so yeah sorry that I haven't really been posting a lot I've been kind of grieving losing my last semester at college with my friends and my brothers um, and the next few weeks I'm gonna be like the next couple weeks I guess I'm gonna be like moving out and adjusting so sorry if videos have been and will be a little bit sporadic once I get settled in, they will be coming regularly again, I promise. Well, I shouldn't promise. Um, I hope. I'm, I'm gonna be aiming for that. Thank you guys so much for all your support. I seriously really appreciate it. And I feel like I say this at the end of like every video now, but like, really, it really does mean the world to me that you guys have all been here and supportive, even when I'm not uploading regularly. And I'm excited for the next step and to take you guys with me on the next step of this YouTube journey. Thank you to my wonderful, wonderful patrons for helping support this video. If you're interested in becoming a patron, the link will be down in the description. Um, if you enjoyed this video, if you've ever considered dropping out of college or considered not going to college or you are in college, click that like button down there. Um, if you want to see more, hit subscribe. I just said that, didn't I? Did I? I don't remember if I did or not. My Twitter and Instagram, are down in the description too like i feel like people don't know about that so like if you guys are interested in following me on twitter or instagram check it out check them out please <laughs> it's, it's weird because like i have like 5,000 subscribers but only like 100 followers on twitter <laughs> so if you have twitter why not check me out eh? 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 i also have my red bubble in the description i also have an etsy but i don't know if that's gonna stay up much longer because it's been there for like two months and like no one's ordered anything so that might for a while. Thanks for watching and for your support. Seriously. Um, I'm gonna try to film a few more videos in this office before we leave. Um, it's been fun. <laughs> but we're not stopping anytime soon. This kingdom will continue to reign no matter where we are or how long we've been here. Until next time. See you around my royal family.